Hey guys, it's your girl Lex, the Nerdy Natural, and today I'm going to show you the results from my two strand twist hairdo that I did in my last tutorial. First, I'm gonna make sure that all of my twists are loose and free hanging after I had um, twisted them all together in the last hairstyle. When you get all your twists loose, you're gonna wanna take a hair tie and put your hair back into a ponytail. This just makes it easier to keep track of all the twists as you're untwisting them. What you're gonna do is also take some coconut oil and that coconut oil is gonna be used to help untwist our twist but also to add a little extra shine. That coconut oil just gives us a lot of manageability as we are undoing our twist. We'll take one twist at a time and rub down the length of the hair to get that oil on your hair. Slowly go up the twist, untwisting and separating as you go up separate less if you want more definition separate more if you want more of that fluffy big puffy hair um that i definitely am known for you'll continue this process throughout the entirety of your head going slow again starting from the tips of your hair to the root um, also adding that coconut oil just to make sure that we're managing our hair well and putting moisture back into our hair So you're going to add about a dime size amount of coconut oil to your fingers and slowly again work from the bottom of the twist up. Uh, I'm helping my mom out because uh, the products aren't so close to uh -huh. her. You ready to go to Philly? Yeah. What do you want to do in Philly? I don't know. So real quick, my mom and I did a girls weekend in Philly, had a great time. We did dinner at this place called Harper's Garden. Highly recommend if you get a chance to go check it out. So I'm getting a little help from my mom. Say hi, mom. She's also a natural. Her hair happens to be straight right now. Protective style. Yes, she's mindful of the heat that she uses. What temperature do you use on your flat iron, mom? 240. 240. So I don't typically put heat in my hair, but more because I'm lazy and obviously protective. You want to be mindful because obviously when you straighten your hair, um, your hair is protein and when heat or acids or something abrasive comes um, in contact, I don't know if you remember from science, but um, you know, like proteins denature and they unravel. That's what happens to your hair when it gets too hot when you straighten in your hair. So when people are saying, oh, my curl pattern looks different. Um, it's because those proteins have broken down because the heat was too much for the to tolerate. And they but, have heat damage. Uh, yeah. And obviously my twists are a form of a protective style. I start, as you can see, I started with a, um, with a rubber band around them because I always miss twist. <laughs> so I like to make sure that once the rubber band gets low, I, um, no, what's been done, what hasn't been done. So, since we're trying to get out on time and I'm running late, <laughs> mom's helping. <laughs> okay, and I'm separate these. I also like to use a little bit of coconut oil just because it's just a little bit easier to manage the hair and separate the hair. Okay, let's steal this one. always start at the end and work your way up because again you don't want to knot your hair that's defeating the purpose we want to eliminate as much frizz yes as possible yes so I'm gonna separate these ones that you took out ones. and I always recommend even though I kind of got ahead of myself and started going to the front of my hair start from back to the front it's just easier to um, not only um, take out the twist because then you don't have the hair in front of your hand like you see right now um, getting in the way. Um, but it just keeps it organized. Are there any more back here? Do you feel the last one? Okay. 
last one. And I always like to do yeah. break through my hair just to make sure I didn't there miss you go, all done. Oh, it's not all done. We gotta style this. So this is what our twist out looks like. So you have a couple options. You could wear it big or, and I know that these, these rubber bands and this rubber band has had its had better days. Um, silk scarves are usually really good on your hair um, just to make sure that it doesn't have the banding. The rubber is kind of taut on the hair can break it. Um, also, what else do you use for your hair to put your hair up? You're, you're big on clips. I use clips. I use clips a lot. I use clips a lot and sometimes I use silk scarf oh. or sometimes I take um, a nice stocking. I know that sounds weird, but I tie it in a knot and a little bit bigger because I have a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. And I do so, it that way. Some options if you want to do ponytail with a little bit of bang. If you want to do your hair up. Well, I, like high I like the up. And a high ponytail. It's so and soft. Would, it's so nice and moisturized. <laughs> um, not that this is style well, but I would probably put some bobby pins because the front of my hair is really long. Um, you can wear it completely out. Um, you could do a bun. Usually day two styles a bun, but we're gonna style this and come on back. So a lot of finger combing, a lot of raking, a lot of shaking. Remember, rake and shake. Rake and shake. You will get volume, you will get body, fluff. Start up those roots, bring your fingers out a little bit. I also sometimes like to use a wide tooth comb to get the same effect to give your hair a lot of body and just make it look so big. I love it. And I think we might be done. I think we'll just let it be. What you think, Mom? Looks great. All right, we'll leave it. So again, these are the flaxseed twist out results. Um, we, sorry, I keep looking at myself. I have a mirror wall very vain um, what I did was if you looked in my last video um, we layered rice water that's literally rice and water we layered um, the uh, shea butter and coconut curl cream and flaxseed gel and the thing that uh, my mom mentioned which I also mentioned in the last video if you notice there's no residue that's the great thing about flaxseed gel it's really healthy for your hair really soft like you don't get that crunchy feel but you get a nice hold um, for your curls and just a very very moisturizing to be honest so um, any any thoughts you gonna try it mom sure will all right so here we have it